Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm doing another 99 overall in the AHL. And as you may, or maybe you don't know, did a player career simulation in the AHL at 99 overall. Put him on the Pineapple team, which is the Seattle Kraken's AHL team in this game anyway. Like Palm Springs or something like that. But I just called him the Pineapple team. So yeah, that turned out to be pretty interesting and pretty fun. And you guys seem to like it. And then on top of that, I got some comments in that video telling me to do a 99 overall goaltender, which I thought would be another interesting experiment. So that is what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be putting TJ, which is the same name as our goalie via pro, on the Henderson Silver Knights because they are a new team. And of course, I have to be in control of that team due to the fact that I'm playing a 99 overall in the AHL. There's no way to get a computer to do that. Not that I'm aware of anyway. So, yeah, I have to be in control of the Golden Knights team here. But I pretty much just turned everything to auto. Did I try to beef up the team sometimes with some players that were looking for two-way contracts? Sure, absolutely I did. But it was all part of the experiment. Sometimes I did and sometimes I didn't. I wanted to see how much the goalie could carry a team that didn't look very strong or how much, you know, they would be let down by the team in front of them and not be able to carry the team. So, yeah, obviously there's a few different teams throughout the years here. We got 20 plus years out of this goalie before he retired. I was celebrating when he finally retired because it took forever. But, yeah, anyway, let's jump in here and let's see how this goaltender will do with the Henderson Silver Knights playing there for their entire career. So obviously for the first year here, I didn't really do much to the team. It is just whatever the roster is. You can see 99 overall, Timothy Jimothy this year played 61 games and got 30 wins with a 913 save percentage. The team finished 20th in the league though, which to me was pretty shocking. I didn't really see that coming, but yeah, not the strongest start here for the 99 overall goaltender. The next year, Doing a little bit better, 33 wins, finishing 15th in the league and making the playoffs with 90 points, but they would be bested by the Ontario Reign in the first round there. So yeah, as you guys uh, can see, and as I mentioned in the intro, I'm signing players and sending down whatever players are scratched on the Golden Knights, for example, to beef up the AHL team where possible sometimes, and this year it really paid off as... They won the AHL equivalent to the President's Trophy. I feel like I should know this by now, but just lots of trophies going around here. They also won the Calder Cup against Providence Bruins in the finals there. So that is good to see. And yeah, there's a lot of ups and downs with this simulation, I must say. But for the most part, there's a lot of ups, which I expect. It is a 99 overall goaltender with an X factor, the maximum number of abilities and high franchise potential in the AHL. So they should be doing good, I would think. Still 99 overall. I also find it pretty interesting how they don't really drop in overall. I thought for sure you play a player of this caliber in the AHL, their overall would drop and or, you know, just cause them to lose the current potential that they have. Like maybe they wouldn't be the high franchise anymore, but no. They actually firm it. It's pretty crazy. And on top of that, as I mentioned in the last video, and as I kind of show you guys in this video as well, I am able to sign this player for two years every time their contract expires for like under $2 million. It's insane. I don't get it. I have no idea why that is allowed. But yeah, that is the contract that they ask for. And then if I go anywhere above two years, they ask for a significant amount more. So that's almost kind of a bug, really. I don't think that should be in the game, but yeah, nonetheless, it is. TJ having some stellar years here. 59 wins on the year this time. Only nine losses, one overtime loss. The playoffs, though, is another story, which is also something interesting throughout this video that I think you'll find, is that in the playoffs, the goaltender seems to be pretty inconsistent, which... To me also doesn't make any sense to have a killer year and then absolutely blow it in the playoffs when you have 99 poise, 99 everything for that matter. It's just a very intriguing thing and a pattern almost to try to pay attention to and notice. But yeah, the team is absolutely dominating the league right now, making light work of it in the season, winning the President's Trophy equivalent. I got to get that name. I got to find out what it is. <laughs> I really do. But 
I'm just going to say they're winning the season. And on top of that, they are definitely winning some Calders as well. So by actually reading the trophy descriptions in NHL 22, and also maybe a quick Google search. Anyway, the McGregor Kilpatrick trophy is the president's, which is just an absolute mouthful. So uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just call it the McGregor or something like that. But anyway, another Calder championship for your Henderson Silver Knights team. Still looking pretty solid here. Blomqvist making a return. I feel like he is just in a lot of my videos recently. One way or another. I don't even know if it's... It's probably not the same guy. I don't know if that's a real guy or not still. There's a lot of questions unanswered that I just haven't really bothered to look up. The Iowa Wild would sweep Henderson in the conference finals that year. And as you can see here, the Silver Knights team still looking pretty good. The backup, not great, but that doesn't matter because you have... A starter who can play 71 games and, yeah, is also 99 overall. But the team did get rinsed in the first round there by the Colorado Eagles. Didn't even put up a fight. They lost three straight. We're now in year 12 already. The team is still looking all right at this point. And as you can see here, assigned a new contract one year at 1.4 million. 44 wins this year with a 920 save percentage. Another disastrous playoff performance. I mean, last year wasn't... TJ's fault. He had a 960, and they still lost three games in a row. But uh, this time, they got swept again in the first round. But we had a below 900 save percentage. A sub-900, if you will. Which is not ideal. So, TJ, you got some explaining to do on that one. But from the year before, you're cleared. You did all right. The Henderson Silver Knights got robbed that year as well, as they finished 13th in the league and didn't make the playoffs. But the chemistry for... The team this year looked very satisfying. Plus ones on all of the offensive lines. 924 save percentage in the season. 921 in the playoffs. They would finish second in the entire league this time. But they would go on to win the Calder Cup. A couple trophies here for TJ again. And yeah, a 4-2 win in the finals. The team chemistry not looking as good this year. And in fact, I feel like the team looks slightly worse. And again, just showing you guys that I could sign him for under $2 million for two years. And another short playoff run here. But again, that was not TJ's fault, having almost a 940 save percentage. The team finished 13th in the league this time around. And Tucson would devastate them in round number two. Once again, the chemistry not looking great here. The defense is always pretty solid, though, because it seemed like the Golden Knights always had a lot of extra defensemen. I don't know if the AIGM was doing that or what with the autos turned on, but regardless, I had a lot of defensemen to send down every year, it felt like. And on top of that, in year 16 here, the current year, we saw the first decrease of TJ's overall, now down to a 97 and I show you guys the stats every time, just so we can kind of see what stats are dropping, how fast they're dropping, and stuff like that. Because I think that's also kind of interesting to see, you know, what stats remain up high, and which stats start to go down, how fast they go down, etc. So I have that included in the video as well. And this year the team rinsed in the first round. It seems to be like that for the most part. They either get rinsed in the first round or they win the Calder Cup. But uh, yeah, TJ continuing on a downward spiral here at 92 overall and puts up a 910 232 respectively this year the team finishes sixth in the league with 110 points the gulls would best them in the second round taking seven games the line chemistry definitely not as satisfying this year still at 92 overall is tj the age of 36 there's the stats again in case you're curious about that a stellar year getting 54 wins 19 playoff games with a 9-12 save percentage as well. They would go on to win the McGregor Trophy, winning the league there. And they would not win the Calder, unfortunately. They made it to the conference finals where Milwaukee would beat them out in seven games. And I feel like at this point is where I kind of stop signing players to see if the goalie really could carry their own weight. And uh, 91 overall now, the goaltender still puts up a 9-10. But the team did not do very well. Finishing 30th in the league this time. Now it sort of looks like I added some players here maybe to make the team a little bit better. Finally, sub 90 overall. TJ is at the age of 39. 49 wins this year though and only 9 losses in regulation. Not a good playoff run though as they would be swept in the first round. But they did go on to win another McGregor trophy. 
which is good to see. And yeah, the Colorado Eagles would beat them in three games. And here's the contract again, just kind of showing you guys like they're not really asking for a lot. So I really just wanted to hammer that point in because I find it interesting and I feel like it should not be that way. TJ now down to an 87 overall, manages to get 41 wins on the year, a 905 save percentage. And we only got five playoff games this year, meaning a first round exit, which came at the hands of the San Jose Barracuda. But the team did end up finishing fourth during the regular season, which is solid. Now we are in year 23. I don't see any real pictures anymore. I think at this point it's basically all just created random players but yeah the henderson silver knights still finished sixth in the league we get 70 games played still at a tj at the young age of 41 and 842 save percentage in the playoffs and the henderson silver knights were swept by the colorado eagles i didn't really tally up the trophies because i wasn't too concerned about that i just wanted to see how the actual stats would turn out so i have the season in the playoff stats here and we have a grand total of 1,523 games played in the season with 1,008 wins. They ended up breaking 1,000. Attaboy TJ, 427 losses. And on top of that, we got 195 shutouts and a 919 save percentage average with a goals against average of 214. In the playoffs, the stats were a bit lower with a save percentage of 912 and a goals against average of 249. But overall... Still a very solid career, and I'm curious to see what you guys think. Did the 99 overall goalie play as you expected them to, or maybe not as good, or maybe better than you expected them to? Go ahead and let me know. I'm curious to see what you guys think. On top of that, if you have any other ideas for simulations like this, let me know as well in the comments down below. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you, and I will see you soon.